Hi everybody, welcome back to Meet the Wilds. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is Amber Wild and I am one of two mums in a same-sex relationship to two sets of twins, boys who are three, girls who are coming up to two, and we have one tiny new baby due in October. So that's me, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a quirky kids clothing haul, some bits that I've picked up in the sales that you couldn't find on the high street. But before I do that, I need to tell you all that Channel Mum are hosting a competition at the moment to win a £50 Boots voucher, £50 Lush voucher and a £50 Primark voucher. So that's three vouchers worth £150 and they'll be drawing a winner tomorrow which is Sunday the 24th of June and another winner the following Sunday. You need to subscribe and enter their competition to win. I will leave the details below. You should subscribe anyway. I mean, I'm bound to say that because I'm a Channel Mom vlogger, but they have such great content from the first ever live smear test to all kinds of mom hacks, real mom experiences. And it's just a great channel to pop over and watch if you find that you have free time in the evenings. And um, of course they can point you in the direction of the Channel Mom vloggers and their individual channels as well. So do go over and subscribe because it's a great prize and they are great people, I should know. So I'm going to share with you first the bits that I've picked up for my three-year-old twin boys and then we'll do the girls. <laughs> you kind of have to forgive that I'm quite breathless. I am coming up to 23 weeks pregnant and I think I might be getting anemic. Um, I was horribly anemic with my last twin pregnancy and actually had an iron infusion at, I think I was 35 weeks pregnant. So I'm really hoping that with one baby I don't go down that route again. So without further ado, I'm going to share with you some of my toddler boy clothing picks that you can't find on the high street. So I picked up this first, it's a little t-shirt from Bobo Shoes. They're a Spanish brand and um, it says the world and then it says what I want to know and down the bottom the little triangle says what I know. I just think that's really cute for both sexes and I like the colours. I really like my little boys in pink. It really suits them so I picked that up. It's the kind of pink that isn't too girly if you get what I mean but it's pink enough to just really compliment them. Um, another Bobo Shears t-shirt. It says, it says, where does the sun go to sleep when it gets dark? I just think that's really cute, really whimsical and um, I really liked it. Um, I swear it's not all Bobo Shears but I do have one, two more Bobo Shears t-shirts to share with you. It's this one, this one here. That says, there is a light that never goes out and it has a picture of the sun on I just think that's, that's just sweet. It just makes such a nice change from all of the boy slogans of I'm loud, I'm noisy, I'm dirty, raw, dinosaur. There is a light that never goes out. And again, I love the colours. My boys look really nice in, um, in pink and I like the little orange bit. One last t-shirt from Bobo Shoes blue this time. It's got little balloons on it. It's just cute and whimsical. It reminds me of that Pixar film, you know, um, Up. Reminded me of that, so I bought it. In the sale these were all, I think about £18 each. It's quite an expensive brand generally. I think t-shirts sell at about, about 30 which is insane. I can't afford £30 t-shirts for my children. But I can afford 18 pound t-shirts if I fall in love with them and I really liked those so we had a bit of a splurge then this is a new brand I've just discovered it's called Fresh Dinosaurs and I really like the lollies my little boys are obsessed with ice yollies as they call them um, as I guess all toddlers are and they really liked this it's um it's a little tank top or a vest top, it doesn't have sleeves so I'm not sure how well that's going to go down with my sons who insist they're cold permanently 
unless they're running through the sea or half drowning themselves in a stream or you know doing something that benefits them rather than us <laughs> but I think they'll really like it then I can't not buy Mini Rodini I'm obsessed with Mini Rodini which is an Italian brand and they brought out horses on their summer range so naturally I had to buy some horses I just really like these Dala horses um, the brown, they've got a kind of navy purple mane and tail little orange tack and you know what, I'd have bought a horse if it was ugly as sin, but these aren't, these are really gorgeous um, and I love the quality, I don't remember how much this cost I think it was about, about £20 in the sale but the quality is always great, it lasts a million and one washes and passes down to younger children in the family so again, I treated myself one last thing for the boys again it's pink i really like my sons in pink this is um a brand called tiny cottons um i only discovered them about six months ago and the summer range is a french chateau theme um i don't love most of the range but i do love these strange six-legged octopi i'm not sure why they're missing legs but they're super cute let me float that, there we go, hopefully you can see that, they've got little lug to pie, they're carrying drinks and various other bits and I just think it's adorable, so I bought it, again I think, I think it was about £20 but the quality seems really lovely, I want to show you one last time really nice so I was really pleased with that and that is what I bought for my boys in the sale I don't know what they're going to wear on their legs yet <laughs> I guess it'll be pants and socks and t-shirts all summer unless I get my finger out and spend more money buying more clothes or they can wear their winter trousers I don't know so moving on to the girl stuff little play suit by Bobo Shares got suns on, it's cute, it's kind of whimsical. I really like them in all-in-one play suits. It just reminds me of when they were tiny and wore sleep suits all day. So I bought that. This I love. It's another play suit. It's by a brand I've just discovered called Little Man Happy and on the front it says True Love, Crew Love. And I just think it's adorable. I can really picture Emmy in particular rocking this. Um, I like the colours. We don't have much in that's, um, that's purple for the girls. I don't know why. People just don't seem to be selling purple stuff at the moment. So I picked that up and I love it. I'm not sure how much it cost. It wasn't very expensive. I think about £23 on the sale. So I picked that up and I love it. Then I bought these which... I'll be honest, this is probably the most expensive thing I would purchase. So this is by the Animals Observatory. It's just this little, um, I don't know what you call these, bubble suit? They're like rompers without, without legs and they're just, they're just cute. So this one has shells on it. And then I bought another one. Oh, I know, I bought another one. There we go, this one has comets. The boys have um have these trousers. So I bought the matching bubble suit with the comets on. And I'll be honest, in the sale they cost £35 each. I think they're about £60, not in the sale, which is ridiculous. Some people can afford that and good for them. Um, <laughs> we can't. So I'd been anxiously stalking the sales and hoping they'd go into the sale. And then when they did, I snaffled them up. And I think they're really beautiful. I can imagine the children wearing them on the beach when we go to Canberra Sands next month. And I'm really looking forward to that. I just love them. And then I bought these. More mini Rodini. So, little mini Rodini dress. And this one's, this one's pink. It's got little pink horses on it. And then... Another little mini Rodini dress in the same colourway as the boys' t-shirts and I just, I very rarely twin the girls in terms of clothing but 
I just think if you really love a print and it comes in two colourways, why not? So we're going to wear these together and I think it's just adorable. So I think they'll look super cute in their little turning outfits. And then I'm going to share with you just a couple of bits that I'll be honest I haven't bought. Um, I work with Alex and Alexa who are a big online clothing boutique every couple of months. Um, I write something for their blog, dress my children in some clothes they send me, go out and take photos for their, their blog article. Uh, that time of year has rolled around so I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, I didn't pay for it. They're not paying me and they're also not expecting a video. They're expecting something for their website but I just want to show you what they sent me because I love it. Um, we were just chatting about ideas for this feature and the girl's second birthday is coming up so I asked them to send me some bits for a birthday photo shoot um, which we're going to go out this afternoon and photograph hopefully. The girls aren't napping very well today so I'm hoping they cooperate and we don't have face down screaming tantrums in Belgravia but I'm going to dress them in these beautiful outfits and take them into London for birthday cake and just a little photo shoot for the A and A blog and for my blog and I just wanted to show you what they sent me because I just I love it <coughs> this is a dress by Vivetta I could never afford to buy it I, I'm not even going to tell you how much it costs because I am kind of horrified that anyone would spend that much money on one dress for a little girl but it's just look at these colours it's just so beautiful um, I really love it it's um it's in age two to three and my coming up to two year old smallest daughter is wearing nine to twelve months still so she's going to be swamped I'm hoping we can go for some kind of att attractively inundated in <laughs> dress look otherwise she's going to look a bit silly but I love the dress I wish I could wear it myself and then I got this which is by Raspberry Plum it's just beautiful it's it's ridiculous it's all frills and flounces and I love the singing ladies on the front of it I just think that's super super cute um it fits a bit better on my taller twin than the other one but again it would swamp the little twin so don't know what we're going to do that but I just love it and when I saw it I couldn't resist asking for one of those and then to go with it they have these two beautiful headbands also by Raspberry Plum they're too big for my children's heads so we're going to have to <laughs> try to wing it this afternoon I'm I try so hard with my kids fashion blogging and it just never works the way that it seems to work for other people but I love those headbands and then got these little tiny shoes by Cavat I think they're about, about £40 again I didn't pay for them Alex and Alexa kindly sent them and another little pair of shoes by Angelus these are they're about 55 60 pounds but I just look at them they're so beautiful and I really love Angelus as a brand they're just really comfy and um, my children are so prone to rubbing and blisters but they never seem to get them with Angelus so I'm looking forward to trying these out on the girlies this afternoon and I really love them so I'm going to try to share some photos in this in this um, vlog of the girls out and about in their little dresses. Um, if you're not seeing any photos right now, it's because it all went horrendously wrong. But hopefully you're squeeing over the cuteness of my children right now in their arms. So that is what I've been buying in the sale, or what I've been sent in the case of those last few bits for my children to wear this summer. I think they're all just adorable, a bit quirky. Um, you couldn't find them on the high street. Most of what my children own does come off of the high street if I'm honest, but um, every so often I like to treat myself to just finding some fun bits on the internet and ordering them for my kids. So 
that's what I've been buying. I'm really happy with all of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you own any of the same. Any brands you'd recommend that I try out, I'd love some more ideas. And um, thank you all for sticking around and watching. If you'd like to see more kids fashion, same-sex parenting, twin stuff, or to follow my new baby who's arriving in October and um, the pregnancy thereof, please subscribe, please give me a like and a thumbs up and um, I'd love to hear from you if you fancy leaving a comment. Don't forget to go and enter the Channel Mom competition and I will see you guys soon. I'd better go because I think my twin's waking up. So catch up soon. Bye!